So this is a new piece for Willow Glen in Motion where we actually have the opportunity to sit down and have interaction between the uh, guests that we have. Uh, so welcome all three of you back again. Thank you. Uh, and, and I'd like to start by saying thank you for the work that your organizations do on a national and a local basis. You know, we've talked a little bit about the history of your organizations and uh, where they've gone through that progression. Uh, how have your clubs changed demographically, uh, sociologically? Uh, what, what type of changes have you seen? For the Elks, and I'm sure for John's the Eagles, we have women in the clubs now. In 1995 was the first woman that was admitted to the lodge. And since 2004, there's been three. I'm the third exalted ruler, so that's been a big change. And we're uh, catering to the younger crowd now. They seem to be coming and seeking us out, too. Like I, I said, I've, and uh, my uh, Eagles, we uh, have a lot of younger group, very young group. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, my grandson, he's right outside, he's 25 years old, uh, but he's, a, he's been a member since he was 21, and uh, I'm very glad of that. Uh, and it's, it's, just, it's just fantastic how everybody is just, it's just, they're just building in there and they're helping and it just, uh, it, it makes me cry sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not lying, it does, it makes me cry, and I'm quite sure with your group too. Yes. You know, because it's, 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 it's our group and our hearts just like yours. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Now, Chris, how about the Elks? What, what type of changes have you seen? Women actually becoming Elks. Um, in 2004, we had our first exalted ruler woman, and I'm the third one since 2004, and next year we probably are going to have another woman, and younger, quite a bit younger, and families joining. So that's a big difference. And in the American Legion? Uh, American Legion, being veterans, we've had uh, both men and women since our uh, incorporation, but with the advent of the uh, expanded uh, usage in the military of women, our membership has gone up as far as women involved. The big change, I think, has been age. Right now, half my members are probably World War II age. Um, because our times are limited, it also sets up sometimes large gaps. Uh, I understand the political fight from the young whippersnappers of World War II when they first came out and the guys who were in charge for 20 years before that, there was a real fight. So now they don't want to relinquish. And so when Vietnam came around, there was a fight between those young whippersnappers and the guys who had been in for 20 years. So it's been uh, interesting to watch recently now trying to draw the new generation in. And most of them right now seem to, from our perspective, first thing they want to do is just get on with their life before they start looking at joining an organization. So we try to support them and then hope that they remember us later when they settle down and now they're looking for something to do. So tell me a little bit more about that. How are you supporting them and what type of recruiting efforts uh, are, are your clubs using? We do, we do booths at various organizations of the uh, um, Willow Glen Italian Festival. We, uh, we participate with the uh, family readiness groups when units are deploying, such as uh, recently the uh, reserve unit on heading deployed to Iraq. We were there. We support them. We'll help the families if they need help when they're back here. Um, <clears throat> excuse us. All of us being veterans, we've been there. We understand what they're going through. Um, and so we provide the counseling if necessary. We'll assist them if they need to find resources, such as for the VA hospital, if they have problems trying to get their individual need met. And how about? We also have done booths in Willow Glen. We have membership drives. Um, we just had a wine tasting event that was wonderful. We actually brought in 110 new members last year. And we encourage our members to bring guests and just talking about the organization, somebody asking if they're interested, and we invite them to join. They seem like the right kind of fit for us. And John? Well, uh, let me put it this way. When I joined in uh, 2003, the Eagles, there was only 84 people there. Wow. Now we got over five, well, close to 500 people. 500. And uh, it's mainly because a lot of people, you know, I, 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 I'm a guy that goes talking to everybody. And I go to churches, I go to all kinds of places. Uh, we have, we rent the halls out. When we rent the halls out, we try to get the, these, a lot of these people to join our organization, which they do. And they, they, they like it, and they, and they do join. 
And also we give also the, the police the police department, the sheriff, uh, the, uh, the armed, armed services. We give them a, the first time. It's a free membership for one year. It's a free membership for one year. And uh, it's, 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 it's great. All, all these organizations are so fantastic, and I love them. In general, uh, you're pulling from the same population, mostly, uh, and the same pool of money. Uh, how do you play well together? Wonderfully. Wow. A oh. lot of our people are eagles, moose, and we're back the same way. We just get involved with not so much the um, American Legion, but we do have a lot of vets that are in all of them, too. We, a lot of our members belong to all three of the other organizations uh, that were mentioned here today, as well as others. Um, it's we, We've done other things, blanket drives for uh, the homeless, things like that with other organizations. We have participated either using their hall and then we support it, or they come to our hall and we support it. But uh, we have, as you said, it's a limited resource, and so we try to pull what we can to make it go the furthest. Yeah, it's a, it's, we all pull together. Uh, if somebody is in need, I'm quite sure one of the groups is going to go up there and ask them, do you need any help? We'll help you. I'm quite sure I know I, 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 I would ask the Elks or the American Legion or the Moose because I'm a, I, I was a member of all of them. I'm a, well, I'm a member of these. And I, uh, I enjoy myself because she has me down for, uh, for a dinner and I have to cook. <laughs> you, got, you, got to come, you, you all got to come down and see this? Hey, I'm gonna, I make a mean chili verde. Chili verde, that's right. Uh -huh. So it's not uh, uh, exclusive membership. Uh, you, you're sharing best practices back and forth between the clubs for the betterment of the community. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Now, has uh, any of your clubs delved into the Facebook social networking realm yet? Our department has a Facebook page. We have a web page, but uh, uh, I just have to find somebody who's young enough that can do that on a regular basis, and uh, we'd like to. But uh, and that's I believe that's the direction that if you're going to draw the younger veterans out, that's what you're going to have to do. Yeah. We realize yeah, we've got is. to get a little bit more technology savvy too. Uh, we have a great website, the National. We're working on beefing up our local website, and that's what yeah. one of our goals is. Our local website is like foe.com, but our local uh, website is uh, number eight dot foe dot com, and that's the number eight eagles there. And we do a lot of goodies. Let me tell you, it's just like you know, like we all do. We we all pitch in. We do help. And uh, I'm quite sure, like this young lady, and this gentleman here, they they do a lot of. And it, it, it's hard. I didn't tell you. It, it, sometimes you get burned out a little bit. But it's worthwhile. It though. is. It is. Because, you know, at the end, I, I, at the end of the day, I, I just go to myself, wow, I did a good thing. Mm -hmm. Or not me. My group did a good thing. That's right. You'd be surprised at some of the questions you get. Uh, they go to our web page, and we'll get things like, I'm trying to find my grandfather's military records. Oh, yeah. Wow. And so... We're not just going to ignore that. We try to help them out, direct them to a uh, correct location <laughs> to get the uh, application to request the records, that type of thing. So we do try to help as much as we can. That's great. Well, I, I want to thank you, Gary, John, and Chris. Thank you for joining us here at Willow Glen in Motion. And we will have links to all of your websites on our affiliations webpage. So if people are interested, they'll be able to click through on the cyber link. Great. Thank well, you very great. much. Yeah, you all come down and visit us here. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. For hundreds of years, fraternal organizations have been improving the lives of its members through social gatherings, supporting each other in business, and supporting the extended family of its members, while reaching out for the benefit of the community as a whole. These organizations have developed a strong base of membership, and from that strength, they reach into the communities to make them a better place for us all. If you are looking to join an organization that builds its members, betters the community, and has a good time doing it, look no further than your local fraternal organization. You can find links to these organizations at our website at willowglenandmotion.com and look under the Affiliations tab. Next week, We'll be exploring community service organizations here in Willow Glen formed after the 1900s and the impact that they've had on our community today. Until next time, let's keep Willow Glen in motion.